Hey guys, welcome to Dodgers Gaming Corner. This has been an amazing year for VR, and with so many games that are still coming, I actually wanted to take a look at some games that are being released this year for the PlayStation VR. Uh, there's some great titles. I'm super excited. I hope you're super excited. But before I get into this list, if you find this information helpful, give this video a like. And if you want to see more content like this, smash that subscribe button. And without further ado, let's go check out this list. This one comes from the creators of Myst, and it's actually been floating around for a while, the release date. Uh, this is from the latest news that I found, and if I do see any other updates, I will let you know. If you are a fan of Myst or Oblivion, then definitely check this title out. And you have no capacity for understanding the magnitude the labor of generations that have come before you and what shortly lies ahead. I could have mentored you passed on the knowledge that was passed to me but Alright, like many of you, I've been waiting for this one. This has a release date of August 27th this year. Uh, it's actually being released to Oculus Quest and the Rift, and then followed by PlayStation VR launch later this year. And when I hear any more updates, I will let you know. Okay, the latest update I have for this title is second quarter 2020. So this is still set to release this year. And if I hear any updates, I will let you know. This is going to be a great title for everyone who's looking for that new first person shooter game.
Alright, so if you're a fan of Moss or Astrobot Rescue Mission, then this will be a great title for you. I'm actually pretty excited to check this one out. Uh, it is set to release this year, and as soon as I have any updates, I will let you know. Okay, last but certainly never least, we have Star Wars Squadrons. It is set to release October this year. Um, I know I'm super excited. It looks like a great title. So let's just take a look at the trailer and let me know down in the comments if you are a Star Wars fan. And then also let me know what titles you would like to see release on PlayStation VR. Titan Squadron. Everything we've done has led to this. Finish those bad guard scum! This is Star Wars Squadron. Earn your wings in a single player story spanning two factions. All stations! Fire on that ship! And master multiplayer battles as a squadron of five. With the option to play the entire game in VR. This is the definitive Star Wars pilot experience. Uh, come on, come on! You'll begin your career in a single player story. Welcome to Titan Squadron. Where you'll play as two combat pilots, flying for both the Empire and the New Republic. You'll experience this world through your cockpit. The instrumentation in front of you provides critical feedback about power management, targeting, and shields. With a squadron of diverse characters at your side, prove your skills on increasingly challenging missions. Hello, Vanguard. Welcome to the Nadiri Dockyard. One of my spies has linked the attacks with the New Republic Starhawk project. The story of the two pilots you play Stick together. will shape the balance of power in the galaxy. Get ready! Let them have it! <laughs> to take the fight online, you'll need flight time with all eight ships. Fighters are the most flexible and versatile, able to handle any situation. Interceptors are fast and highly maneuverable. Let's get them. Ideal for hunting down your opponent's starfighters. That was kind of fun. Support ships can keep allies safe and stocked up, as well as disrupting enemy fighters. Light them up. Nice. Bombers are the heavy hitters, able to deal devastating damage to enemy flagships and starfighters. But if you've got a preferred component and need something customized, I'll take care of it. Unlock everything you need to customize your pilot and starfighters simply by playing the game. From cosmetics to an arsenal of over 50 components that alter how your ships fly, fight, and survive. They're on you! I'll deal with it. You can dramatically change your loadout depending on your squadron's strategy. Finally got him! This will be critical in Star Wars Squadron's multiplayer modes. First up, dogfights. This is an all-out 5v5 battle. Man, five, that was the best! Fine-tune your loadouts to work as a team. Moving in on the enemy. Utilize components like tractor beams, turrets, and mines to slow down your opponents or set up your squad mates for the kill. Rebels unlocked. For teams looking for an even greater challenge, it's time to prove yourself in Star Wars Squadron's signature mode, 
Fleet battles. Fleet battles are multi-stage conflicts. Whether playing solo or with friends, you'll have the option to compete against other players or AI as a squadron of five. Don't worry, I got him for you. Meet your team in the social hub to solidify strategy, coordinate loadouts, and prepare for takeoff. First, push the front line by winning the dogfight in the center of the map. Next, attack or defend two medium-sized capital ships. We've lost our capital ships. And finally, the ultimate goal. Target and destroy the subsystems of your opponent's massive flagship and take it down. Shields are disabled. At each phase, your squadron either pushes the line forward or falls back to defend. Keep our flagships safe. It's your squadron's choice of how to play. I'm hit! Speedy, unrelenting assaults. Stay together, strike quickly. Stealth and subversion. Jamming the enemy, sensors can't spot you or brutal bombardment. That ship is vulnerable, take your shot. We need to hurry. A unified squadron is the key to victory. Making my attack run now. Let's make this count. This is Star Wars Squadrons. Join the galaxy's finest and make your mark. Hope of this gap.